Pre Intermediate student at Bright Kids Center. We had a very interesting activity, compulsive reading, by uh, the story named The Secret Garden by Francis Hudson Bernard. My friends and I had to read the story and then study it with our teacher. It was fun. Now I'll narrate the story for you, but in a nutshell. Once there was a child called Mary. She was a very disagreeable and bad tempered child. Uh, she was from India. Her father was a British official and her mother spent all her time going to parties. Her servant in her servant named Kamala. Mary gave or always gave order to her servant who had to obey. One day uh, a terrible disease came to their town and she, uh, she was sent back to, an, to uh, England uh, to live with her uncle in a big uh, old lonely house. She heard about the secret garden and no one has the key. So she decided to find the key. Uh, of course, her friend uh, Robin helped her to find the key. She entered the secret garden. It was very big, it's full of flowers. One day she was in her uncle's house, she heard someone crying, she decided to find who was crying. She, go, she went around, uh, around the house and uh, she entered to a room and she saw a boy in the bed and say, she said crossly, I'm Mary Lennox and uh, Mr. Craven, he's my uncle. The boy said, I'm Colin Craven, he's my father. Colin had a crooked back like his father and Mary, uh, Mary didn't visit Colin for three days. Colin became angry and shouted at the servants. But Mary, Mary and Dickon decided to take a call into the secret garden. There was a magic in the secret garden to help uh, helped Colin to walk on his feet. Mr. Craven came back and he, because he saw his wife in his dream, so he decided to go to the secret garden. He entered the secret garden. He saw a boy stood up from the wheelchair and ran to him. Uh, it was his son Colin. Sometimes Mr. Craven was happy and sometimes he was sad. And all servants came to the secret garden and the secret garden wasn't a secret anymore. Thank you for watching. Bye!